I just watched a video over like uh, on YouTube of Mr. Sunday Boobies, if you ever heard of him. He basically did a podcast over the issue with some people hating on the Ghostbusters movie. The female Ghostbusters reboot. Now, let me talk about that for a minute. I want to give my own opinion. To be honest, I was a little, I was not very happy with the idea of a Ghostbusters reboot because the original is a classic. It's one of my favorite comedies of all time. Obviously, it's a 5 out of 5. It has good effects, fantastic ensemble cast involving Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, who also wrote... Aykroyd and Ramis actually wrote the film. I write and directed it. And I have to say, it is. It also starts going away from Rick Moranis. It's absolutely a classic. I mean, why the hell not? It just has... It's just still one of the funniest, most quotable movies of all time. I mean, I mean, really, I mean, it's, and also, it's nice to have a more subtle, I mean, there's no denying that sometimes it has a lot of dry wit, but also it has a lot of over-the-top special effects and ridiculous comedy, but that helps. But also, there's a lot more subtlety in terms of the comedy, and I really hate whenever, like, a lot of comedies today just have to be over-the-top to be funny. Really, that's overstating and overstepping your boundaries. And to be honest, I don't find it that much appealing. It gets become too much of a distraction when you think about it. I mean, you're just all over the place with all that crazy shit. I mean, oh my god, a freaking car. Oh my god, a freaking RV going off the highway. That's where the Miller is, in case anyone knows. Um, yeah, not really a thing that I thought it was just... I thought it was just kind of ridiculous and didn't really move it along. It was just a ridiculous situation that really was annoying. That didn't really get become that funny. Uh, but yeah. Let me tell you one thing. Uh, I actually am kind of a little bit... I'm actually a little bit optimistic towards this reboot because of the crew involved. Leslie Jones was absolutely hilarious in... Now, now in case you guys know about the cast, they have, you have Melissa McCarthy, <coughs> Kristen Wiig, Leslie Jones, and and uh, shit. Hold on a minute. I'm still trying to get to this shit. Also has a Kate McKinnon. I don't know what she's been in, but Leslie Jones is absolutely was absolutely hilarious in top five in last year. She made me laugh my ass off. She's just so over the top, but also she sometimes is just so mean. Yet that really brought the laughs hit so hard. It was absolutely hilarious. Don't get me wrong, and I really had a lot of fun with that. But there, yeah, you also. Uh, yeah, you also, Kristen Wiig and Wilson McCarthy, I mean, these people worked together in Bridesmaids for, like, in 20, 2011. With, right, it was absolutely hilarious. I love Bridesmaids. I mean, it was so funny. They had great characters. They had such well-developed characters. They were absolutely hysterical together. I gotta get my water. I'm trying to stay hydrated for band camp. But one thing I can say about it that's funny about this, I mean, these people are absolutely funny. I mean, what do you get, where can you go wrong with the fact that you had such incredibly funny people involved? Kate McKinnon, I don't know about, I don't know if I can comment on her. I'm going to try looking her up a bit, see if she has anything that I kind of know her from. Okay, I don't really watch SNL, so I don't know her from there. Any films? Any films? Oh, she was herself in a cameo of Ted too. Well, I didn't see that. Okay, she also mean masterminds. I'm a little, I'm a little, a little bit side. I'm a little bit on the middle on that film, cause I don't know if it'll be that good or not. Ooh, it says she's gonna be in Sisters. Hopefully. But anyways, but also the fact why I'm a little optimistic is because you have a crew, you have such a very talented crew involved. You have Paul Feig directing it, he and Katie Dippold writing it. Now Katie, she wrote The Heat, and that's not one of my favorite comedies of this decade so far, but it was one of my favorite comedies in 2013, because it was absolutely funny. And also, she, he worked, she worked with Paul Feig also, I mean, he, was, he directed it. And you have Melissa McCarthy in there. This is actually, I think, the fourth collaboration between Paul Feig and Melissa McCarthy. 
And it's nice to see that. And I think it's going to be the second collaboration between Feig and Kristen Wiig. It'd be kind of cool to see. I mean, come on. Now, that's one thing that really helps me be optimistic. Is that this is a guy who knows how to be funny and written funny movies. He wrote Spy last year, but this year, I say last year, it's not 2016. Um, he also he also created the show Freaks and Geeks. I have not seen every episode, but I have seen a couple of them, and some of them are actually really funny. I remember the House Party one. Like this is how he said, "Oh, I can't." Like he said, like when he made a joke where he said he was on parole. I actually was a little. I actually lost it a little bit. I was actually laughing a bit because. He goes to a party even though he's on parole and there's a possibility that the cops will come and arrest his ass. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But also the fact is that there are some skepticism on there. There are some people who are complaining over a picture of them and they're not smiling. Do they have to smile every time? There is a picture of them being taken? No! And that doesn't mean anything that they're bored or anything. I mean, calm down. Not everyone has to smile 100% of the time, especially on a film set, either having fun. Sometimes they need, sometimes they, sometimes maybe they're just, you know, they have to get ready for something or whatever the fuck. What I mean is, is that, oh, okay, they just have to uh, do some. Okay, they're just resting a little bit. And who knows, maybe it's the heat or something like that. I don't know. I don't think it means they're bored. Just calm down. Now you don't have to smile all the time. It doesn't mean that they're it means they're bored. I think that they're angry. You know, they're just not being in the best mood or whatever. You know, not everyone has to smile on a film set. Some people talk with a straight face. Some people have a look straight face. Sometimes they just look a little miserable. That's normal, man. It's human emotion for Christ's sake. You can't control. Just because they act the way they act sometimes on a film set doesn't mean it's gonna be bad or anything. Calm down. There are some skepticism I have on this one. And that is, is the humor going to be is the humor going to be a little different from the original? The original was was a very had a lot of dry had a lot of dry witty humor, <coughs> and and also you had Bill Murray absolutely killing it. He was the standout. And he stole the scene every time. He was deadpan. It was hilarious. Now, will there be anyone who I think will stand out? To be honest, knowing the fact how funny these people are whenever they're alone and when they're working together sometimes, really the only one I can really stand for is really Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy. I mean, they did have a scene together in Bridesmaids, and it was absolutely funny. Cause, I mean, Melissa McCarthy stood out in the movie, don't get me wrong. She was the standout in that one. But Kristen Wiig had her share of funny moments, too. They're both people who are really funny. Kate McKinnon, I guess, you know, if you go to SNL, you may have brought some laughs. I never saw any of her sketches. I don't really watch SNL. But, uh, if, you know, if she was funny on them, then I'm hopeful for her here. Now, another thing is, is it going to repeat some of the same beats as the original? Also, you have Chris Hemsworth in there as a receptionist. Will you repeat some of the beats as the original? There's a possibility of that. I mean, there are times where you can, where you sometimes can't avoid repeating some of the same beats as the original, like Vacation did earlier this year. Well, Vacation did a few when it came out on Wednesday last week. Yeah, you were kind of—it was kind of almost inevitable that you were going to see the same shit. <laughs> I'll really—I'll do a review on that, guys. But one thing I could say about this uh, reboot is that you don't, is that there are some things I'm skeptical about, but I'm also more optimistic because you have a, a, you have a crew that has been successful with the comedy genre in this decade, basically, and you have a cast that has proven that they can deliver comedy and deliver laughs, no laughs. And of course, knowing the fact that it's a reboot, but and of course you have a cast that is funny. But knowing the fact that you're kind of doing a reboot of one of the greatest comedies that are made, and it's a, and usually the way that usually a lot of reboots, comedy sequels, remakes don't really always work. They usually suck ass. That leaves me a little skeptical, but also how much you can change the humor. Is it gonna be the same? I don't know. I am hopeful though for this movie. Hopefully it won't be the same as any other comedy. Hopefully it'll be more sometimes it might hopefully it'll be sometimes there'll be some subtle 
dry humor moments, and of course some over the top special effects cr zaniness. You know, something along those lines. <laughs> you know? I am hopeful for this movie, don't get me wrong. Like Paul Feig, I've been a huge fan of him ever since Bridesmaids. And he really seems to really show that he's a talent worth looking for in this generation. That he's really a talent worth watching in this generation. Even though he's been working for way longer than that. <laughs> he's absolutely... And also, when you have such great comedic talents as Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, and even Leslie Jones, you got me sold. You got me sold. Anyways, guys, that's my, those are my thoughts on the Ghostbusters reboot comment below. Are there some things that I should have elaborated on that I didn't talk about? Are you looking forward to it? Are you not? Are there? Do you think it could be like um? Were you on board this idea at first, or were you not? Are you hopeful now? Are you not looking forward to it at all? And what was your opinion on that picture? That I'm not really smiling. I don't think it means anything. I mean, not everyone has to smile on a film set. That's just being kind of controlling of human emotions, wouldn't you think? Comment below and subscribe to my channel for more videos.